Today, we're out on the porch. We're changing the venue. Except, it's kind of messy out here. Because of the wagon! Yeah, the wagons. Here's what I'm going to ask these girls to do. We need this space to do our exercises. So you're going to shove all of that stuff onto this side of the porch. Because we need that side. Hey everybody, so obviously we're outside again today. Uh, we're on the front porch for a different place. We've cleaned up our space so we can do some exercises. I'm going to show these girls a couple different types of jumping jacks. And then we're going to apply a game to those jumping jacks. And we're going to play a bottle flip game. Yeah! I remember when bottle flips were banned from class. Remember that fad? Well... It's still a fad, and we're going to have a lot of fun playing a water bottle flip game. All yeah! right? Maisie's going to show us a simple jumping jack. Maisie, can you do hands up and feet out and stop? There's position number one. Now can you jump back? Ah, position number two. Now can you do a jumping jack and go one, two? One, two. Ooh, I like the clap up above. Let me hear that again. Go one, two. One, two. Do one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Ooh, I really like how those jumping jacks were rhythmic. Annie's gonna show us the ski jump, which is jumping from side to side. Show me jumping side to side, Annie. Nice job. What's that called again? Ski jumps. Ooh, cool. Jumping jacks are a plyometric exercise because they involve jumping. Um, plyometrics are intended for you to be able to become a faster jumper and a better runner as well. Oh, there are so many benefits to the jumping jacks. There, um, it's a full body workout, of course. Again, uh, it's an, aer an aerobic workout. Um, it raises your heartbeat. Your blood starts pumping. Uh, your muscles are getting warm. It makes your bones strong. Um, it increases your stamina. Uh, it helps spark weight loss. It does so many different things. Everyone knows how to do jumping jacks. You can do jumping jacks too. And I'm talking to parents, not just kids. Are you two ready to learn a new jumping jack? Yeah. yeah. Everyone say, a walrus jack. A walrus jack. Do. Instead of clapping your hands above your head, you're going to clap your hands in front of you like a walrus or a seal would do. And you can even make a sound like a walrus or a seal when you do it. Yes, like that. Are you ready? Stop. And you can make a noise when you do it like a walrus. Go ahead. Ready and go. Hands in front of you, walrus. job. Are you ready for jumping jack number two? Yes! Uh-oh, this one's a little more tough. This one's called a star, or sometimes I call it a jumping jumping jack. Can you show me your eye or stick positions in an eye or a stick? So this jumping jack, you're going to jump as high as you can, but you're going to do a jumping jack in the air and then land back in your eye position or stick position. 
Let's see if you understood what I said. Jump up in the air and make a big star and then land back into the eye position. Go. That's it. Keep going. Nice one. There. So we're going to play a water bottle flip game here that involves a jug of water or a bottle of water or anything that can be flipped and land. So I'm going to time them for one minute. They're going to do three jumping jacks. Every time they do three jumping jacks, they get two turns to flip the water bottle. And if it lands, they score a point. And I've got something special that they're going to do for when they get a point. And go! No. No. the car horn to signify it's over. Yay! Ready. One minute. Go. Annie, you get two turns. Two, turns. two turns. One. Two. Ah. Two turns. to say that the game is over. Go. Yeah. 